Hey guys, it's Anna aka The Zena Girl and today as you can tell we're in my room and that's because it is 2am right now and basically today's, well yesterday was Sunday and I was not able to film at all. On Sundays I normally go to church pretty much all day. Since I couldn't film anything I figured that I would do like kind of like a tag where I just kind of talk to you guys about some Christmassy stuff. So uh, yeah, without further ado let's get right into it. So the questions that I picked for this tag are actually uh, from this thing that I found online called Winterlicious Questions and I thought it was really cute. So number one is favorite winter nail polish and at the moment this is my favorite winter nail polish. Um, it's actually one of my favorite nail polishes in general. It's Sally Hansen's um, Hard Bitten and it's number 365. I actually got this from a friend of mine. You can't really tell because the lighting's not really that great right now but it's just the most beautiful shimmery blue and I love it. Number two, your favorite um, winter lip product. So right now, um, I'm loving this. This is Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick by L'Oreal. And I actually got this from a friend of mine. I get like all of my stuff from friends. Oh yeah, this is from my friend Nicole. So if you're watching Nicole, thanks, you're the best. Um, and this is from my friend Shelby. And she's really awesome. She gave this to me because she knows that lately I've been into like matte lips and stuff like that. So yeah, I've been loving wearing this because on her it's like this really dark color, but on me it's basically like a nude because I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost like my skin tone. It's a little bit more orange, but yeah, I love it. It's like a really cute color that could pass for basically like a nude and I've just been loving that like nude feel for winter. Okay, number three, most worn piece of clothing. That's easy. Uh, I wore this last winter and again, I'm wearing it this winter and that's this sweater. <laughs> I absolutely love this like really big green sweater. I think I have a picture of me wearing the lipstick I just showed you with this sweater. Um, and like that's the vibe that I've been into for this winter. Ironically, I actually got that sweater from Shelby who gave it to my other roommate Jado and then now I'm the one who has it. It's like a hand-me-down basically, but I absolutely love this sweater. I've worn it so much and it's just the most comfy knit sweater in the entire world and I love it. Okay, next one it says favorite scent slash candle. Um, I don't really have like a favorite scent like slash candle really, but one thing that I've kind of been obsessed with lately is um, my new toner. <laughs> so basically it looks like this. I got it when I went to Koreatown and I figured like, you know, since it's winter I wanted to take better care of my skin and stuff like that. Um, and this toner has the most beautiful aloe vera scent I've ever seen in my whole life. And oh my gosh, it smells like really light and almost fruity, but it's not. It just smells like aloe vera, but like really sweet aloe vera. Like if there was a tea that had this flavor, I would drink it. It's just so good and I love it. That's probably my favorite like winter scent, I guess. Oh my gosh, I just remembered. I totally forgot to answer question number four. So this is the answer for number four. Number four was most worn winter accessory. I mean, I think it's obvious. I've been wearing this scarf pretty much ever since we started Vlogmas and I haven't really taken it off. So <laughs> safe to say that my scarf is my favorite accessory for winter time. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, so number six, favorite winter beverage. My favorite winter beverage has to be, and I actually didn't even remember until the other day when I was talking to my friends about like uh, Tim Hortons in Canada. And obviously it's like, you know, you guys know that I live in Japan now, so uh, I, d I can't really go to Tim Hortons anymore. But uh, when I was in Canada, I was actually working at Tim Hortons and my favorite Christmas drink ever was a white hot chocolate with a little bit of peppermint on top. Oh my gosh. If anybody out there who's living in Canada wants to ship me some white hot chocolate, we can talk. We can talk. Oh, all-time favorite holiday slash Christmas movie. So for me, this is like, I don't even have to think about it. Um, I definitely am going to have to go with Elf. Yeah, Elf is just an awesome movie. Every Christmas I watch that movie and just die of laughter. Favorite Christmas holiday song. So right now my favorite Christmas holiday song is um, It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas by Michael Bublé. I absolutely love that song. But last year my favorite song was uh, Last Christmas by Wham. Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. I absolutely love that song. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Um, but I also like It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas because it's just been getting me in that Christmas mood lately. So, yeah. Number nine is favorite holiday food slash treat. Oh gosh, this is so tough. I think the best answer for this would basically just be anything. Anything that is a sweet Christmas treat, I'm there for it. I'm so there for it. Like, wow. Uh, next one, number ten. What is your favorite Christmas decoration this year? Um, right now, I don't have any Christmas decorations up yet, but I'm planning on putting a couple around the apartment. And one of the things I really want this year is a wreath. I don't know why. And then the other thing I love is Christmas stockings. I love Christmas stockings. I really want one this year. Next, what's at the top of your Christmas list? Um, the top of my Christmas list right now is to try to um, just give presents to people. I think 
last Christmas I like, just moved to Japan and I would just gotten my visa I wasn't working or anything like that so I didn't have any money to get presents for people I still tried to like give whatever I could I made like little Kit Kat with like a little note at the back and I gave that to my friends but this year I think I want to try to give like really meaningful presents to some friends and I know Christmas is not all about presents but I just figured that since I've been so blessed this past year this year I just want to be like a bit more giving and yeah I want to try giving some presents to um, friends and family and amazing people that I love. That sounded rehearsed, didn't it? But it was real. That's actually how I feel. You guys know I wouldn't lie to you, right? So, number 12. What are your plans for the holidays this year? Okay, so, um, first of all, my church is amazing. We have these, like, a bunch of different Christmas events that are coming up. They gave us these little pamphlets. If you guys are curious, by the way, I go to a church in Tokyo called Lifehouse. It's a pretty well-known church, and there's lots of different churches around Japan. But the cool thing is they have all these different events that are happening during Christmas season. So we have, like, a Christmas play, we have a Christmas party, like a lunch party, and then the Christmas Eve service. And then we even have an end-of-the-year service that's going to happen on the 31st. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be in Japan from the 22nd to the 27th, and I'm not going to tell you guys where I'm going. It's a secret, but that's part of my Christmas plans. I'm going to be going on a mini trip somewhere in Japan. I'm not going to say where. You're going to have to keep watching the vlogs if you want to find out. But yeah, so I won't be able to be there for the 24th. So all the other services, of course, I plan on attending and hopefully I'll actually be able to film them unlike today. But um, yeah, and then on the 31st, I'm planning on having a New Year's Eve party at our place. Uh, still planning the details for that, but we'll see how it goes. Other than that, yeah, I, since I won't be able to go back to Canada for Christmas, my plans are just to chill with my amazing Tokyo family and um, yeah, those are my Christmas plans. Really chill. Nothing crazy. I am so excited for you guys to find out where my vacation is going to be. I want it to be a surprise for my channel. And yeah, one more thing I wanted to add too is that right now, um, one of the things that I really am kind of aiming for, if you guys didn't already know, is that um, I really want to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. And if you guys didn't already know, right now I'm at 900. I'm so close to reaching a thousand. So if you guys watched this video and you liked it, definitely don't forget to like and please join the Hazina fam by clicking the subscribe button. I'm going to be uploading videos every single day of December. I may not upload them daily, but there's going to be a video for each day up until the 25th of December, maybe even up until the end of December, depending on how much you guys, uh, you know, subscribe and watch and like this video. I guess that's it, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Beep.